when you're knocked down, either can lay there and, and not do anything about it, or you get up and do something about it. His value system is what makes him such an outstanding individual. He believes in principle. He believes in what's important. Faith is the very center of Roger's value system. He's fair. He's balanced. He's honest. He operates with the utmost of integrity. And, and he truly is uh, one of the finest people that, that I've ever met. And I don't anticipate meeting many that are, that are better than what he is. He is exactly who you see him to be. There's not a different guy, not a different Roger from when he walks out of the house or walks out of the office. He worked for everything that he got, even as an athlete, you know, he didn't have the greatest skills. Don't let, don't let me, don't get mad at me, Roger, you know. He didn't have the greatest athletic skills. He couldn't jump very high, he couldn't run very fast, but, you know, he made himself a great athlete. The handshake meant everything. Uh, what he said he was going to do is what he was going to do. Roger's always a fan of the underdogs, so if there's somebody or groups that are disadvantaged, underprivileged, haven't gotten their fair share, he gravitates to that naturally. He would shoot foul shots, and he, he would, we would bet a dollar that he could make ten in a row, and he'd make nine, he'd miss a tenth, so he'd owe me a dollar. Then it was immediately double or nothing, because he couldn't let it go. So then he'd shoot nine more and miss one, and that was two dollars. You know, but I knew that with the integrity he had that I was going to get that two dollars. And I still know I will, and that was 1976, but I'm sure I'm still going to get the $2. Roger was a type of quarterback and person that is equal opportunity, you know? He didn't care if you were black, white, red, or green. He's the kind of person that looks at everybody equal and, and gives everybody the benefit of the doubt. He really does believe that intolerance is intolerable and that there's no place in this world for intolerance. He looks at, I think, every situation from both sides of the table. And I think that's why people feel so comfortable doing business with him and being associated with him. There are no little people to Roger Stahlbach. We've gone places where the parking lot attendant was as well treated and received by Roger as was the celebrity or the CEO we were visiting with later in the morning. Roger as a teammate back in the 70s was legendary, and I can tell you from first-hand experience myself that uh, you can't ask for a better partner. Roger places an enormous value on teamwork because he knows it works. If it's raising money for an organization that deserves it, if it's bringing people together so we can have uh, the greatest Super Bowl ever, it's the way you maximize things for everybody who's involved. His thought on teamwork is that teams work. Um, and, and that's how he built a business and it was a business that was not very team oriented and we became a team business and a highly successful business because of that. He believes that with the help of, of people we can do anything. He cannot have an impure thought and he's mystified by those who do. You know, he really is a good guy. When you think about Roger Starbuck, you don't just think about him, the athlete, or him, the family man. Uh, the businessman, that type of thing. You've got to, you've got to include all the parts. He was very busy when I was a kid building a business, um, but I never look back and say, wow, I didn't get to spend all the time I wanted with him. Every day is a gift to Roger Staubach. He was by the book, but he had that sense of humor to go with it. Roger, you have an all-American image. You're kind of a straight guy. Do you enjoy it, or is it a burden? You interviewed Joe Namath. I, everyone in the world compares me to Joe Namath, you know, as far as you know, the idea of off the field, he's single, bachelor swing, and I'm married and family, and you know, he's having all the fun, and you know, I enjoy sex as much as Joe Namath. <laughs> Only I do it with one girl, you know? There I mean, you that, go. But it's still fun. Roger Staubach is the best of all leaders. By what he does, how he acts, um, how he behaves as a corporate leader, as a dad, as a quarterback, obviously, people just follow. He tries to help wherever he can, he commands people's attention because he listens to them. And then he tries to translate their ideas into something meaningful for them and for the project he serves. Being around a guy like Roger Starbuck, uh, it made me a better person. And uh, that's 
You can't ask for more than that. Roger always did it the right way. He set a phenomenal example for the rest of us. And humbly is this amazing servant, whether it was serving his country or his community, he's just always giving back. I was a Navy pilot, and uh, generally the highest we will talk about somebody is, who do you want as a wingman? And Roger was the guy that I'd want on my wing. Roger is the real thing. It's just a real privilege to know him and have the opportunity to be his friend. Roger Staubach lives a life of compassion and concern for his fellow man. And we are all the beneficiary of that life.